Now we're going to look at f of x is equal to x cubed. So y equals f of x minus 3 to start off with. OK. So here is x cubed. OK. So there's x cubed. f of x minus 3 is a translation by the vector 3, 0. So our new curve, if we think of it um, picking up that point there, OK, the 0, 0, and moving it three steps to the right, then our new curve will look something like this, OK? So there's 3. Um, we can figure out where it crosses the y-axis as well while we're at it. So this is replacing the x with x minus 3, so we'll have x minus 3 cubed. And if I expand that out, I would get a 3 times 3 times 3 or minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3, rather, at the end, and that would be minus 27. OK, so this would be my translated curve. So f of x plus 2. There's x cubed f of x plus 2 would be 2 units up, like so. So there would be 2. We could also work out where it's crossing the x-axis. So this would be x cubed plus 2. It's crossing the x-axis when y is 0. So if y is 0, you could subtract 2 from both sides and then cube root. So this is the cube root of minus 2. OK? That would be that value. So that would be my translated curve. Now f of 2x so here is x cubed then we've got f of 2x is a stretch parallel to the x-axis factor a half. So we stretch the curve inwards, something like that, by factor of a half. So probably be even more pronounced down this side. Got to be kind of halfway. So each of those x coordinates for the original curve have been halved. OK, so if I replace the x with 2x, I get 2x cubed, and so that would be 8x cubed. y equals 8x cubed. Now a half f of x there's y equals x cubed again. Half of f of x, so that would stretch it by factor of a half parallel to the y-axis, so it looks something like that, OK? It is still going off, maybe not quite at a steep an angle, OK? Something like that, OK? So each of the y-coordinates of the original curve have been halved. So this would be one-half x cubed. Now, f of minus x, OK, f of minus x is a reflection uh, parallel, uh, sorry, a reflection in the y-axis. So our curve would look something like this. Something like that. So our curve has been reflected like that. And if I replace the x with minus x, I get minus x all cubed, which is minus x cubed. Now, y equals minus f of x um, is minus x cubed. And so these two curves 
will be precisely the same because it's the same thing to say that I'm reflecting this curve in the y-axis as it is to say that I'm reflecting this curve in the x-axis. I mean, my, clearly my, my sketch isn't very good because that distance should be the same as that one. But it's the same concept that this pole bit is getting reflected down in the same way as that's getting reflected across in order for that and that to marry up. Okay, so these two transformations do precisely the same thing. Okay, and this is uh, consequently because we had uh, y equals x squared as being an even function, uh, y equals x cubed is actually an odd function for these being precisely the same. And the way that we identify odd functions is that not that they're the reflection in the uh, y-axis of themselves, but they are a rotation of themselves about the origin by 180 degrees. So I could rotate this curve round and it would sit back on itself after a 180 degree turn. Um, the notion of even and odd functions <coughs> sorry, um, isn't uh, required in the spec. Uh, it, is, it, it is just an extension uh, to be aware of.